Hello, my magical star seeds. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a one pot delicious butter chicken and rice meal. Now I haven't seen this online. Okay. Because usually I've seen a lot of one pot butter chicken recipes, but not with rice. So I thought, why not? Right? Why make the rice separately? Let's just plop everything into one pot and super easy cleanup as a result. So before we get into the kitchen, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you can be notified every time we upload a video, by the way, I know that a lot of you love my butter chicken recipe. So for those of you who haven't checked it out, this is actually an old recipe that I'm talking about. Now you can click on the link above and that'll take you to my old, a very delicious butter chicken recipe. Um, that is not one pot, but it is so, so delicious. So I hope you guys also try that out. Let's get in the kitchen. The first thing we need to do is soak our dehydrated soy kebab. So this is what I have here in Cyprus It's called soy kebab and it's dehydrated soy. You can see this is what it looks like and it's, it's hard, right? So you need to soak it in hot water for about 20 to 30 minutes until it softens up. I don't know what kind of brands you have where you're living, but uh, if you're wondering what to use, you can always leave a comment down below and ask me anything you, you need to know. So what we're going to do is just add this into our bowl. So I'm adding in 150 grams of dehydrated soy mints. So to that, we're going to be adding in hot water. Just want to fill it until all of the soy is covered like that. And to another bowl, we're going to add a third cup of raw cashew nuts. And these are going to add a nice flavor to our butter chicken. Don't forget, you need to soak this in hot water for 20 minutes at least. So at this point, we're just going to set the cashew nuts and the soy mince aside, and we're going to proceed to our pot. I have two tablespoons of vegan butter here that we are going to use. I'm using this brand. It's called Flora. But then again, I'm in the Mediterranean on a small island in Cyprus. So if you are in the States, you can of course use earth balance or whatever kind of butter you desire. So two tablespoons of vegan butter in. Our butter has melted and we're adding in two tablespoons of curry leaves. These are dried curry leaves. If you have fresh curry leaves, that's even better. One large chunk of grated ginger, two hot chilies, red chilies, and three cloves of chopped garlic. We're going to mix this up just for about a minute or two. We're going to cook it after about two minutes of cooking. The ingredients we're now adding in three chopped onions. So I've got three tablespoons of garam masala here, one teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of pepper and two tablespoons of sea salt. So we're going to add that in and then we're giving it a good mix because we are going to be cooking this for about seven minutes until the onions are nice and translucent tender and cooked well. It's been seven minutes and our onions are nice and cooked, but I just wanted to tell you guys something. You truly need to make this in a nonstick pot. Otherwise you're going to get, it's going to get stuck on the bottom, which is kind of fine because you can deglaze it with water, but I highly recommend that you get a nonstick pot. So now we're going to add in two cups of tomato sauce. Oh yeah. And also 300 milliliters of fresh water. And now what we can do is just mix it up. We're also going to add in our third cup of cashew nuts that we're soaking. Don't forget, discard the water. We don't need the water. So we're just going to mix this up. It looks lovely. And don't forget guys, we are going to be blending all this into the creamiest of curries. So what we're going to do now is cook this for about 10 minutes on medium heat and don't forget to cover the lid. Voila, it's been 10 minutes and our curry is nice and bubbly and beautiful. And what we're going to do now is take this to the blender because we are going to blend all this to a creamy deliciousness. So what we're going to do now is just ladle all of these ingredients inside. And I absolutely love this recipe because it's such an easy cleanup. Truly one pot recipes are the best. And actually I haven't seen a one pot butter chicken and rice recipe. So I truly hope you guys enjoy this one. So anytime you're blending up something hot in the blender, you just want to put a tea towel on top of it and just start off slow. 
this is the consistency and it's really nice and smooth and creamy. And now what we're gonna do is pour this into, back into our pot. So we're just going to pour this back into the pot. Our soy chunks are nice and soft. So what we're gonna do now is just discard the water, make sure that there's no water, and we're going to place it into the pot with our creamy sauce. So we're just going to mix this very quickly before it starts bubbling in our faces. <laughs> so we're cooking this on medium heat for about five minutes and with the lid on. It's been five minutes and our sauce is bubbling away. Look how delicious and amazing this looks. If you think it can't get any creamier, it will, because we are gonna be adding in Bayona Organic Coconut Milk. Now this is 50% coconut and 50% water, okay? So all of this is going in. And also 350 milliliters of water. So give it a good mix and you can just see how the color changes. So good. So now we're adding in a cup of basmati rice. And again, we're giving it a good mix. And all we're gonna do now is cover it with the lid and cook it until the rice is nice and tender. Probably 20 minutes, but I'll let you guys know. Now, your curry might seem a little runny right now, but actually this is gonna reduce a little bit. So it will be thicker. So this is our chicken and rice, butter chicken and rice curry after 15 minutes of cooking. So what I've done now, because I've tasted the rice and it's actually cooked, so I turned off the heat and now we're just going to cover it with the lid and let it rest. Before we plate the curry and before I taste it for you, we need to chop up some coriander leaves. Oh God, I love coriander. If you don't like coriander, you can also use parsley. And I have my handy mezzaluna here that's gonna help me chop everything up. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but look at how delicious and creamy this is. It smells to die for and Oh, look at the consistency. Okay, so let's plate it up. Just top it off with some coriander leaves. I also love eating this with mint chutney. Okay, so I'm gonna try this for you guys and I'm so excited because I love butter chicken recipes, vegan butter chicken recipes. Mmm, mmm, all the flavors are there. So delicious, mmm. And very satiating too, you got that soy, the soy chunks and the rice. And what I love about this recipe is the consistency. It's not too chunky and it's not too runny as a curry. I think it's just right. If you wanted this recipe to be even more chunky, you could add a lot more rice and make it more stiff, but I actually prefer my curries like this. So very, very delicious, very fragrant, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, I love eating this butter chicken recipe with mint chutney. If you want the recipe to that, you can click on the link above and it'll take you to my amazing three Indian chutney recipes. If you like this video, I hope you guys smash that like button and subscribe to our channel because we are giving you amazing plant-based recipes every single Wednesdays and Fridays. And don't forget, we will see you on our live stream days, which is on Sunday. So I'll see you guys next time for the next plant-based recipe. Mwah.